I have the Redmi Note 12 from Xiaomi right here, and it has the Chinese version of MIUI installed on it. And today I'll be showing you how to install the global version of MIUI instead. This will also get the Google Play Store and Google Play services installed on the device so that you can download popular Android apps and games. Before we can begin with this tutorial though, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, we can't install the global version of MIUI on the device until you have unlocked the bootloader. If you haven't done this yet and you are not familiar with the process, then look down in the video description below and I'll be including a link to a dedicated video that I have already done that walks you through the entire process. You're also going to need to have an updated version of the Mi Flash tool. And I'll include a download link in the video description as well for the same version that you'll see me use in today's video. You also need to download the global ROM that you want to install on the Redmi Note 12. I use this website here, and again, you can find the link for it down below. Just make sure that you download the fast boot ROM and not the recovery ROM. The global version of MIUI on this download page is going to be listed as the India version. But even after you click the download link for the Fastboot ROM in that list, you're going to see the first download listed here is the recovery version. So make sure that you scroll down a little bit more and that you're downloading the full Fastboot ROM onto your PC. With all of this downloaded to your PC, you can go ahead and extract the firmware into its own folder. I even recommend putting this folder in the base directory of a drive. So for example, I have created a folder within our, the E drive here, and this is where I'm putting the firmware files. In my experience, if the firmware is too many folders deep, then the Mi Flash tool can have issues when trying to install those firmware files. Granted, I haven't tested this with the more recent versions of the Mi Flash tool, but it was the cause of a bug that I had in the past. So I always just make sure that it's in the base folder of a drive now. You're gonna want that base directory of the firmware to look like this where you see a list of files and an images folder that contains all of the image files for the firmware that we're going to be installing. Now, let's open up the Mi Flash Tool program that we downloaded, and, in, and we need to copy the file path of the firmware directory that we just set up. So we go to our directory here. We're gonna right click on the file path. We're gonna go back to our me flash tool and we're gonna paste that file path in this form right here. I also want to point out that you probably want to change this option down here. By default, it's going to be set to clean all and lock. And if you leave it on this, it will install the global firmware that we have just extracted. However, it's also going to lock the bootloader. And that's generally something that I don't recommend since it makes it more difficult to recover from a boot loop. So again, be sure that you come here and select just the clean all option instead of the clean all and lock. With the Mi Flash Tool set up, we then need to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 into fast boot mode. This is something that I've already shown you how to do in a separate video, 
So instead of making this one longer than it needs to be, I'll include a link to that tutorial in the video description below for those who need help with that process. Once we are at this fast boot screen here, let's go ahead and connect the device to the PC with a USB cable. Now we can click the refresh button right here within the Mi Flash Tool program and you should see a device now become registered and recognized within the program. If you don't see it appear here in this list, then your phone either is not in fast boot mode, like I just showed you. It could also mean that you don't have the proper USB drivers installed from Xiaomi, or there's some type of conflict either with the USB port on your PC or the USB cable that you're using. Be sure that you're using a USB data cable. So try changing the cable you're using if you come across this issue. Or you could just try plugging in your USB cable into a different USB port on your PC. But if you see a device registered in this list after you click that refresh button, then you should be ready to go. When you're ready to begin, we're going to click the flash button right here that's next to that. And then it will begin installing the global MIUI ROM on the Redmi Note 12 from Xiaomi. This will take some time to complete the installation, so be patient during this process. Keep an eye out here and here to make sure you don't see any errors pop up. And be sure that you're able to maintain a stable connection to the PC with that USB cable. So there's no need to pick up the phone or cause the USB cable to move around while the firmware is being installed. If the firmware installation is interrupted at the wrong time, then it could put your phone into a boot loop and you may not be able to recover from it without booting into EDL mode and using the MSM download tool. Once the process has been completed, you should get a green success message right here and your Redmi Note 12 should reboot on its own. And again, as long as you didn't see any errors appear in the Mi UI, in the Mi Flash tool, then your transition from the Chinese version of Mi UI to the global version is complete. When you see your Redmi Note 12 reboot, you can unplug that USB cable. And the first boot back into Android will likely take longer since we have just wiped the data on the phone. Once Android finishes setting things up and getting you ready, then you're going to be taken to the normal Android activation screen that you're used to seeing. Once you're brought to the activation screen, you may be instructed to activate the device, meaning that you'll need to either connect to a Wi-Fi network or a mobile data network and then log into your Xiaomi Mi account. I'm just going to skip through the Android activation screen real quick.
And now that Android has been activated and the phone is booted back up, you won't see any of the Chinese apps that you saw before. And we're now able to log into our Google account using the Google Play Store application right here. I hope this video helped everyone who has been wanting to get rid of the Chinese version of MIUI on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 and those who, who have been wanting to install the Google Play Store and Google Play services on this device. If you came across any issues during this process or maybe you just have a question about Android in general, please use the comments section below and I'll try to help as soon as I'm able to.